70 lives lost to 60. It's wonderful news. We have to make sure we understand our numbers. We don't know if the drop is because we're saving more overdoses or use is down in general, but both of those are positive answers. Since early 2017, Eric Yazel says overdose deaths have decreased. The Clark County Health Officer credits the community's needle exchange program with helping addicts get clean. In other cases, he says first responders have used the overdose reversal drug Narcan to save lives. We've had a lot of buy-in from the elected officials of the county for uh, some non-traditional um, ways to attack this. The first responders have been great, so it's all around a team effort from the county, which is what it's going to take. It's getting better. We're dealing with it, but it is not going away, and we have to keep chipping away at this. Melinda McKenzie is one of those community partners, a member of the group Clark County Cares. She helps organize a week of events centered around addiction in Clark County. Our hope is that we as a community cannot continue to punish, but to find solutions and break down the cycle of shame. That means more outreach efforts and continuing the programs that are already working. Because Yazel says everyone has a stake in ending the opioid epidemic. It affects everybody, I and mean, there's nobody who hasn't been touched either directly or indirectly. Now, the county's needle exchange program will celebrate its first year of operation later this month. I'm Morgan Lentis, WLKY News.